Hello, yes, I'm Paul Thompson. I'm Vice Chancellor at the Royal College of Art, and we are standing on the mezzanine gallery above a vast hangar space in our new Battersea South campus building. What we wanted the architects to do was really to create a large, rugged, factory-like building for us to bring together very, very different disciplines. So we wanted to bring together sculptors, performance artists, writers, engineers, material scientists, all together to try and solve some of the world's most pressing problems in a space that was very flexible, that would sort of work with them and that would really encourage that sort of collaboration. My name is John O'Mara. I'm the um, project director for Hertzog and Demeron. Essentially, what we wanted to do was present a series of very flexible brightly lit, naturally ventilated spaces that could be reconfigured to different programs and activities so that there was a multitude of uses that could be applied to the building. All of the power drops down from the ceiling, all of the servicing is exposed, it's naturally ventilated. We don't want people to feel that they have to drill into the floor or take an angle grinder to it, but if they do, they won't hit an electric cable or they won't hit water. There's a very, very sophisticated new visualization lab, the SNAP visualization lab, that will be used by data scientists, by architects, city designers. There's more space for our startup entrepreneurs. And there's this huge new robotics hangar, which allows us to do research on aquatic robotics, aerial drone robotics. It just allows us so many more opportunities to work with new kit, with new people in exciting combinations. We have spaces like the hangar space, which is ostensibly a covered street space, which is closed up with fire station doors, but they can be pulled back to open up this forgotten street within the fabric of this quarter so that people will be able to sort of walk through the site into the heart of the activity of the Royal College. It's basically a drive-in, drive-out space. You could bring very, very large objects in. You could bring a prototype vehicle into the space. You could have a big exhibition or a performance. And we really want to encourage the local community to participate and really try and understand what it is that a 21st century art and design university does. I really hope that we will see open, collaborative teams working in very, very varied fields across the board, whether it's climate science or city design or autonomous vehicles and transportation systems. And we'll be able to point to their achievements and be able to say, gosh, they would never have been able to have done that if it had not been for the faculty, the fellow students, and of course the amazing labs and studio spaces that they had here at the RCA in Battersea. We want to be able to use this building in a hundred years time. We want to be able to introduce completely new disciplines, disciplines that we haven't even thought about. And we want the building to always be able to act as that sort of vessel that can contain lots and lots and lots of different activities over decades to come. What they do here is amazing and really it's a container for that work and that creativity to thrive and to prosper.